Yo, welcome back to Urban Street 420. I'm Heroes 40, so today we're going to take this bong. This is a regular bong, not huh? just a beaker. Doesn't matter what bowl you have, etc. And we are going to customize it, right? In fact, we're gonna cover it with flowers. And some pearls, baby. <laughs> Someone sent me a picture of a bong that was covered in flowers and pearls. And like, how do you, they asked me how you did this, right? And I was like, hmm, and I thought about it. And I thought, you know what? I bet you that they're using UV resin, right? Which I have because I'm an artist, right? And so I thought, I need to test this to see if it's gonna work. And before, I, and then after I test it, I could see if I can make a video about this to show you guys how to do this, right? So this is my proof of concept. Mind you, there are no flowers on here because I didn't wanna waste any. Because the reality is, these uh, dried flowers come pre-dried. I bought them from Amazon, they're vacuum packed. Uh, they're super expensive. You could do this yourself and it would save time, but then you need to buy silica gel that's specific for drying flowers. It takes a lot of time and I didn't wanna do that. So I took the easier route, which was buying these already done, right? Comes with three different ones. Let me show you on the other camera, in fact. So there's some red ones, there's some purple ones, right? And then of course there's some blue ones. And none of these are open, right? And they're all vacuum packed, et cetera. Let me show you on this camera as well. You'll see on this jar, I put these stickers. Now these stickers are from one of my paintings actually. Um, and I sell these stickers on my art website. But I wanted to put something on this glass that didn't belong, which, okay, sticker, flower, same. And so I used UV resin, and this is UV resin right here. Now whether you use this brand or a different brand doesn't matter, but what UV resin allows you to do is you can either paint it on or brush it on or use a foam applicator, et cetera, and then you take a UV light such as this one, right? It's purple. This shouldn't mess with your eyes because it's being recorded through the camera, but uh, yeah, you don't wanna shine that in your eyes, right? And for those of you who just saw it, in the camera it's not gonna mess with you because it's not gonna hit the wavelength that hurts your eyes. But anyways, so, UV light will then cure it, meaning it will cure fast, because if you take normal resin, you put it on, it takes like 24 hours, not all resins, but many of them take like 24 hours to cure, whereas this would take minutes, right? So I did proof of concept on here. I added some pearls because in the design with the flowers, there were some pearls on it, and these are like little half pearls, and I bought this little box, I'll show you on this camera. And this has got like 5,000 fake half pearls, and to be honest, all these super small ones, I probably wouldn't even use. I'll probably only use the bigger ones, but okay, whatever. So we have this, we have the flowers, and again, I'll leave a link on Amazon where you can get the UV resin. You can get the, the pearls, you can get the dried flowers. Now it's up to you. You'll notice on this, there is some paint here, right? Actually, this is acrylic enamel, right? I had to think for a second because I'm like, what kind of paint is this again? Anyways, this is acrylic enamel and you can seal this on with something like this, right? This is a spray. This is a Mod Podge uh, gloss spray. We can use this as a final sealant for our piece. Now, mind you, this doesn't heat up, a bong does. But the reality is we are not going to resin the bowl and the only thing that's gonna get hit with fire is this bowl anyway. Nothing is gonna heat up in the bong enough where it could mess with the resin, and then we have to get specific heat-resistant resin, et cetera, so this should be safe, et cetera, et cetera, right? But again, do this shit at your own risk. This is, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a lawyer, uh, I'm also not a cowboy, uh, I'm not a village person. <laughs> Anyways, I'm trying to make jokes, but I'm tired. I, I should have had more coffee, it's too early for this shit but let's build this puppy and then let's smoke. So, okay, so how are we gonna do this? Let's take the, uh, let's take the bowl off. We've got some gloves right here. We'll decide if we end up using the gloves. And what I think I'm gonna do is these are disposable brushes, right? I made this, or I painted this little holder, right? It's just, I think this is a pickle jar, and then I added something here for a hook. Anyway, so these are disposable brushes, and you're saying, oh, what a waste. But the reality is, if you use it to paint on this UV resin, what's gonna happen is this brush is done. You know, you're not gonna clean it. Because by the time you go clean it, you have to, it's just, it's not gonna happen. Better to use a disposable brush, easier. The only problem with these disposable brushes is they're garbage. The hairs come off the brush, so you need to pay attention. So if I paint this on and a hair of the brush comes off and it sits in the resin, that's gonna be a part of the final piece. So. Here's some tweezers right here. These tweezers came with these flowers to place them. However, I don't know if that's gonna be easy or a good idea. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop talking, but let me just explain what I'm gonna do and then you're gonna see me do it sped up, right? Is I'm gonna take this UV resin and there is like a, a squeeze applicator like this and we are going to paint the bong, right? 
First, we'll start with the neck, we'll do the neck, then we'll do the bottom of the beaker, and then maybe even around this piece right here. I'm gonna take off this blue part of the bomb where you put your mouth, because we don't want our mouth to go on cured resin. So, yeah, so there's that. So I, and I advise that. And how are you gonna tape off the mouth? Let's go ahead and get some painter's tape. I have painter's tape right here. We're just gonna take a piece and we're gonna go over the top part so that way we don't get any resin where we're gonna put our mouth. Because resin can be toxic for your health, you don't wanna ingest it, et cetera. But the reality is when this stuff is dried, cured, hardened, is not, our mouth is not going where it is anyway. Plus we're not gonna heat it up where our mouth goes, so it's all good. Huh? So let's take this tape. And I'm not gonna say anything, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this, right? So maybe I'll, I don't know what the best way is to do this, but let's try like this. All right, let me show you on this other camera what it looks like, right? Now, I could be a stickler and come here with an X-Acto bait to make, the, to make the line perfect, because even though when we paint this resin on up here, the reality is it's going to cure clear, right? I mean, look at this right here, I'm gonna show you. Over the glass right here, for example, in between the yellow paint, there is resin or, uh, here, right, that's been cured. Now, there's a slight, it's clear, it's brilliant, whatever, but if you leave it any cured resin in the sun, for example, UV hits it, at some point it's going to yellow. It'll, it'll have a yellow tint to it, so be careful about that. Anyways, I think this is fine. We're not going for perfection here. We might go ahead and tape off the top just so nothing could go inside. Uh, so yeah, let's do that. All right, so now the top is covered, let's also do right here. And again, the part that we want to do here in the down stem is just the down stem. In fact, I tried to take the down stem out of this bong, but this bong is old and it is just, I don't know, crusted in there. So that's okay, right? So we just don't want to get the down stem just in case we could remove it at some point in the future. And uh, yeah, the rest, no worries, right? So now we've got the down stem covered, and it's just like this, that's it. That's the only prep we need. Now you should wipe the outside of this with isopropyl alcohol to make sure that it's fully dry or it's clean, right? And now let's go ahead and take some of the UV resin. I'm gonna shut up, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the brush, I'm gonna paint the neck. After I paint the neck, we'll place some flowers on that. Then I'm gonna take this UV flashlight, and I need to hold it. How long does it take to cure? a couple minutes, right? Maybe two, three minutes, it depends. But it's not two, three minutes of holding like this. You need to move the bog, et cetera, and cure each part of it, right? And then you put on some gloves, for example, or you could even put on gloves now. In fact, it's probably the smartest idea because resin is toxic, right? It's not good for you. So be careful about it. inhaling it, getting it on your skin. If you swallow it, go to the doctor. If you get it in your eyes, go to the doctor. You could, it could harm you, so be very careful, right? Anyways, I've worked with resin a lot, so okay. Anyway, so let's get started. I'm gonna stop talking and maybe I'll come back in, who knows, right? Now when you paint this on, by the way, I guess I am gonna be talking. <laughs> when you paint this on, you want a thin coat, huh? Because we are going to paint on another coat after this, right? Because we need to paint, and I'm going all the way to the ice catch, right? because that's going to be my visual marker to know whether there's resin or not, because then we're going to cure it and we'll move to the next part after we cure it, right? And what this is going to do, this base layer, number one, it's going to hopefully make things look uniform, but also it's going to make it so that um, when we paint, I'm sorry, when we, um, and see, we've already lost a piece of this stupid brush because it's crap. And let me show you on this camera. So you see right here, there's a piece of the brush. We could take it off because now it's not cured. Anything that's put on, like any brush hairs, etc. In fact, we can toss that because it's probably gonna harden as we're doing this next part, right? And again, you should probably wear gloves. I'm gonna take this off. Don't do that. I'm doing it because it's gonna be easier for me to place this. But what I wanna do now is open up these flowers, right? And I'm looking for the part where you could rip right here. All right, so we open the blue ones first. The resin that's already been applied is meant to be like a, something to hold the stuff in place. Like not exactly, I guess a glue, but it's not gonna be permanent, right? So I'm gonna come on here and again, should probably be wearing gloves. Like let's use our head, right? <laughs> the thing is gloves are gonna keep your hands safe, but at the same time, it will make it a little bit harder to place the flowers. After we place the flowers, we're gonna come back with resin, we're gonna paint resin on top, and then we're gonna go ahead and try to cure it, right? Or try, we are going to cure it, right? right. I like how I put glove on it that I'm using the, the non-glove hand, 
right? Nice. And now that I've touched Reza with this figure, I need to be careful and only like now place it in a cut together, right? Like this one, just to put it, and then this one to tap it on, right? And again, whether you're seeing exactly what flower I'm putting, you know, put this to your heart's content, right? It doesn't matter, like, you put one flower here, you put whatever you think is going to look nice, right? So I'm going to stop talking, and I'm going to start trying to put things in a cool places, etc., and tap them in place. This one doesn't want to stay, right? Okay, so in order to make this stay, what we could do is take a little bit of super glue, right? And I think this stupid super glue's case is stuck. <laughs> all right, so, all right, I have another super glue. I've got some more gloves. Let's put this other super glue. The other one, the problem is it's fused. I guess some leaked while I was closing it or something. I think that's how these companies make tons of money, right? Because once you use one of these things, even though technically you could close it, that shit is never good, right? It's always some problem. So it's like a single use, which sucks. Anyways, so let's put a put the a new glove on. It's like what proctologists or gynecologists do, right? You hear the little snap. And then the, the grimacing look on their face, like oh, I'm gonna check. So anyway. Anyways, not even funny, right? I'm tired though, that's the problem. So again, let's go ahead and take this little flower right here. We're gonna put a little bit of super glue on the back of the flower. All right, so I just added this particular flower with a little bit of super glue, which is not working very well. But what's gonna be nice is when we paint resin back over this, what will happen is uh, we can make it flush by painting it over, et cetera, because right now it's just kind of sitting there, right? And all the flowers, that's what they're doing, is they're just sitting on top of this because they're not cured yet. They're not gonna be cured until I go back over this with the UV light, right? So again, no rhyme or reason, we're gonna shut up. Let me do this for a few minutes and we'll be back. All right, so this is good that this has just happened. Let me show you all the other camera. Look at my finger. The flower got stuck with the resin to my glove figure, so that could happen, huh? And if that happens, then probably this is not coming off, huh? So let's just keep going. This one is not going on, right? Look, you see this leaf right here that I'm attaching? The reality is it needs to be painted on. Now we could do that, right? We could take one of these paintbrushes, but let's wait until we have the rest of the flowers on, and then we will go ahead and use the paintbrush. All right, let's stop right there because we can always re-add, right? So I'm gonna take one of these brush, I'm gonna try to pull off any hairs, right? Just in case, so they don't come off while we're painting, but still could happen. Let's go over everything, and the top is already off this. Let's try to go over everything, especially the, like the leaves that are up like this, right? So I'm gonna put a little bit of this down, and I'm gonna come in here, and I'm gonna dab, dab, dab to try to lay this down, and it worked. Let's do the other side, and it might cause issues. If it does, put on a little extra, and then we hit it with the, the light, right? And when we hit it with the light, we should hopefully cure it. Watch. Now I know that this is maybe not directed at the camera right now, so let's move this here and see if you can see it better, but I wasn't sure how to set up the camera for this. <laughs> anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold this down with the light, it's gonna, this may, oh here, we need to press this down, but the problem is it's gonna cure the resin on this, um, this brush too. And this is all you have to do is hold the UV light. Now they have different things. You don't have to use a UV flashlight. You could use one of those UV lights that are used to hold your, uh, what is it called? To, 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 to do your nails, right? So if you're, I mean, if you're a girl or if you're a guy who does your nails, whatever. Uh, the point is that you could use one of those. But yeah, so do not put resin in your mouth. You go to the hospital, right? What I'm doing is putting the other side of my mouth. I know there's no resin on it. This is brand new. And let's go ahead and paint some more on because there's others that need to be affixed. 
I mean, look how fast that was. One of these flowers that I had to use glue is like sitting, right? Imagine it sits like, the it's rounded, right? Because it's a bong. The flower is sitting like this at one point where it's touching the glue. You have to push the other sides down. But it wasn't staying down. So I pushed one side down, with some, pulled it away real quick, cured it. I mean, look how fast. Now, is it cured to the touch? Not necessarily. But what we're trying to do is just get everything set in the right spaces. We're going to come back with the pearls and then we'll spend more time curing it. All right, I did something, uh, I screwed up something, right? I'm gonna show you here on this camera. You'll see, let's see, where's the best way? Up here, for example, I put too much resin, I didn't uh, paint it thin, and then I started to cure it, and so now we've got these extra resin, you can see it, right? So a mistake, it is what it is. I'm not gonna fret too much. We're gonna open up the pearls and we are going to attach some pearls around here using the super glue. Although the super glue is not working very well, so let's see what happens. Now the downside to these stupid pearls is that they are very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, they have a lot of static electricity, like whatever plastic this is made out of or whatever, once you pick them up, they just start going everywhere. So we might have to go ahead and get like a vacuum, but anyways, I'm warning you. <laughs> So we're gonna take out some of these pearls and the little baby ones are coming out with it because of course. I have one non-super glue that's a different type of glue. We'll try that if this other super glue doesn't work. Uh, it was new too that I opened. It just wasn't coming out of the tube. I don't know why. Maybe it's old, I don't know. Anyways, so the first thing we do is we pop the hole. After we pop the hole, we turn this around, we screw it in, I don't need to explain. <laughs> Come on, baby. All right, so open up the top and let's go ahead and add some more of these pearls. Now, obviously, if you get super glue on your fingers or on something, it's gonna stay, huh? so be careful. I don't know if that pearl is staying up because my fingers were sticky or were pulling it up. And that's the thing, we're gonna put UV resin over it, cure it, and it will keep everything there, period. But until this, the super glue is, to, is like a placeholder, right? So you need to be careful. Because for sure, you're gonna get some on your fingers, and then all of a sudden, everything is gonna get harder. Now you could use these tweezers to pick up these stupid beads, but the thing is that it's gonna, it's all, no matter what you do, this is a pain, huh? Because it, everything is gonna end up sticking at some point, making it harder to work with. So we're on like a, I don't know, it's not that we're on a timer, but we kind of are, because at some point this is just gonna be harder to put on, the pearls on. Because right now, my fingers do not want the pearls to stay. All right, we're gonna give this a minute to dry. After we give it a minute to dry, we'll add some UV resin. We'll paint over the pearls so to make sure that they're really there. And then at that point, what I'm gonna do is I will just record myself doing the rest, not talking. I'm only gonna do the base, same as I did the top, right? Applying some resin, putting the flowers, putting some more UV resin, curing it with a UV light. Doesn't have to be a flashlight, could be one of those nail things, but the point is a UV light. That works with the UV resin that you get. Look up the wavelength of the UV resin that you're using to make sure that the light you have is powerful enough or capable enough to cure the resin, right? And again, how long does it take? It depends on the brand. So look at the back of the box, read the box, make sure you cure it for the right amount of time. When this is all done, I'll take it outside, I'll spray it with some, uh, some spray varnish, and then at that point, we're gonna be able to take this off and we're gonna be able to smoke at it. Now, the spray varnish might need a few hours to, to dry, whereas the resin, this is cured, right? Once we hit it with the UV light, it's cured, so we're good to go. Anyways, enough talking, we'll see you guys at the end where we're gonna smoke this puppy. <laughs> All right, moment of truth. Now, ideally, put the gloves on, see if anything is tacky, right? I think we're good. I'm just gonna touch around. If there's anything that's potentially sticky, come back with the light, hold it there for a few, I don't know, 60 seconds, etc. But right now is a good time to check to see if there's anything lifted. If any pieces of the flowers are separated from the glass, go back in with some resin, paint it on, do the UV light, etc. Again, 
stop talking. Let's finish this up. Let's see what it looks like right before we varnish. I'll see you guys then, baby. <laughs> Let's use some wax paper, or some parchment paper to put down. The reason I'm gonna do that is because there's gonna be times where I put the bong like this, and the reality is if there's any resin, we don't want the resin to hit the, the coffee table, right? So, um, yeah, so we're gonna use wax paper. If you use a towel, if you use a, um, a paper towel, a towel, something like that, remember the resin gets on that, it's not coming off, huh? If it gets on your skin, take some isopropyl alcohol immediately, wash it off with isopropyl alcohol. The isopropyl alcohol will dilute it slightly and then allow you to clean it off. And after that, go ahead and soap in water, et cetera, right? Again, if you get in your mouth or something like that, you are not gonna be happy or go to the hospital and maybe you die. So, anyways. so it's not perfect and uh, we're gonna go over it one more time with some UV resin painting on the bottom after we do that because we just added the pearls I'm gonna take this outside I'm gonna spray it and then we will come back we'll let it dry we'll hit it and yeah there are definitely some things that would do over again I mean this is the first time doing this but this is proof of concept if you look obviously the more resin that you add it's not that it's not clear it could just be cloudy because there's too much resin there's a, a part where one of these bristles came off that, that I told you you have to watch for, that okay, it did. And that's the problem with these disposable brushes, they suck. But if you use a good brush, they're expensive and you will have to go through many, so better to use disposable. Of course, you could use a foam applicator too, I just find brushes work a bit better. Anyways, I'll shut up. We're gonna go ahead and paint this, take it outside, spray it, we'll be back. All right, to make sure this is fully cured, I'm taking it outside. I'm gonna leave it in the sunlight. It's early in the day, right? So we're gonna let this cure outside for a couple hours at that point. I mean, it's cured not to the touch. When we touch it, it's dry, but just to make sure it's fully cured before I spray it with a spray varnish. And again, which spray varnish you use, use it in a quick spray varnish should be fine. Make sure the mouthpiece is taped off, the, the down stem's taped off. Anyways, I'll see you guys after this. Again, I'm taking it outside, just letting it sit for a couple hours, and then I'm gonna spray it. I'm not gonna record that. Then I'll be back, we'll take off the tape, we'll give it a try, I'll see you guys then. I think I've already said that several times anyway. <laughs> All right, so it's been a while, huh? Really, you should let this dry overnight, but this is totally dry, right? I'm touching it, everything is dry. And by the way, this Mod Podge is more of a glue than a varnish. You could also do uh, a, an acrylic varnish over the glass, or this Mod Podge works really well. Now, I'm not sure what other people, how they make this or whatever, this is how I decided I'd make it. And this should be safe because we don't have anything touching the mouth part where we put our mouth, right? I don't know, I don't need to explain that. I have water in here because we're gonna give it a go, right? Plus, when I light this bowl, the bowl is not touching any resins or any paints or anything, right? So it's all on the glass and the glass won't heat up enough where it will be a problem. Now mind you, it's interesting because, maybe because I put too much of this UV resin, and again, depends on the brand that you buy, you don't have to get this one, but the point is UV resin, it looks not cloudy, it looks crystallized. Let me show you on this camera, right? So uh, I'm gonna bring the bong in quite close and I'm gonna spin it. Now you're not seeing the whole top to bottom, maybe if I pull it back right here, and I just start spinning it, you can see, right? Now I'm gonna also put another video up in a second, I don't want to distract from me spinning this, but I'm going to put another video that I did with the tape on it outside spinning it. I was going to make that into an uh, Instagram post or something like that, but anyway, so you can see. But this thing is definitely, it's still clear. You can still see through it. Um, it's a bit cloudier. I don't know if that's the right word, but it looks really nice. All of the, like the fern, the leaves, everything is on there. You feel these uh, pearls, right? It's like ribbed for your pleasure, but also for a grip. So as you're holding it, there's an additional thing to grip to. So that's kind of nice. Now, are there any flowers that are maybe a bit more raised than you'd want them to be? 
because this is not totally flat. Some of these flowers, especially where the center is, you know, of these flowers, like for example on this one, maybe that's uh, raised a bit. I don't know why I went like this because I thought water came. Anyways, let's fill this puppy up, give it a hit. I mean, by placing uh, cannabis in here, we're making it so that not as many people are going to see this video, but you know what they say, share it with your friends, YOLO. <laughs> Uh, guys, you know, the fact that, I, that I'm that i more free on the channel by, by smoking and showing things or whatever, it makes it so my videos don't get shown to as many people, right? I need your help. I mean, when you think about it, there's like, there's 400 something videos on the channel and I get a lot less views because I decided a while ago when they demonetized the channel that I just said, you know what? I'm not gonna worry about monetization. That's not how this channel will hopefully make money. It'll make money either through sponsorships, partnerships, uh, when you buy shirts, like this shirt, for example, it supports the channel, you know what I mean? But I get no money from Google or advertising or YouTube or anything like that, so important to note that. But it's because I smoke on the channel, right? And also, you show cannabis, you say cannabis, it's like, it's like you're saying a dirty word, right? But we all know it's not dirty, or is it? <laughs> Bada bing bada boom. I mean, anyways, this should not change how it hit to begin. This bog hits fine, right? So it shouldn't change how it hit, shouldn't change the flavor, should do nothing. We're just showing that it is functional as well. Let's take it out here, baby. I think this bowl right here. <laughs> I think there's it, the, the hole is real small, like it should have been cleaned or something, because I can't even get a bigger rip than that. And I think it's because the bowl is struggling. But anyways, definitely it hits. It looks pretty. I imagine when the water gets dirty, you're gonna wanna clean this very often to keep it pretty. Also, this will look nice outside. Keep in mind, because it's clear, because there's flowers, it looks very nature-y, very, you know, peace, make love, not war, which I stand behind. Uh, but I think when it gets dirty, you'll be like, oh snap, it, it will look even worse because of all the pretty flowers, you know what I mean? No big deal, you should keep your bone clean anyway. I think we pull through whatever was stuck, huh? One more hit, we'll finish this puppy off. <laughs> Anyways, guys, gals, everyone, I hope you like this video. If you have any questions about the process, please let me know in the comments. By the way, where to get UV lights, UV resin, the spray Mod Podge. I'll leave links to Amazon in the description. They are affiliate links. I get a little something if you use them. But if you need it, go ahead and use the links, please. Guys, gals, everyone. I'm stoned, baby. I need to work out. I'm getting chubby. Anyways, guys, gals, everybody, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. You know the deal, baby. Woo! Till next time, I'm out.